Man, I need to start drinking more water. It's good shit. What time is it? I guess I only have enough time to play for maybe an hour, and then I gotta start ready to go out. Start getting ready to go out. I mean, you know what? I should just I should have played some Dead by Daylight, practice with practice with Huntress, or maybe throw on some God of War four and throw around my Leviathan axe for a little bit. Cause I'm gonna go to a to an axe throwing place with a friend of mine. Get some practice in. Any of my Dark Sider games have axes I can throw? No. Only sides, and you can't really throw them to swim around a lot. I am with the Connors. The androids that buy cyber life. Fuck, oh, Lena, you make some good water. Oh yeah, he's got the family or something. Or is he going to withdraw? Do we have a drug addiction? Oh yeah, he's... he's... Twitchy. Oh yeah, I gotta hold R2. <laughs> You can't just hold it up like a normal person. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. We can have something too. Or slow, or slow, slow speaking. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Oh, shit. Video memo recording. Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. The time is... Two days before my birthday. Wait, what? No, put him back on! I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Oh, it's over there. Oh, set. DNA. Unrelated to the investigation. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Oh, same guy I asked. I know where he is, thank you. Thanks. Harry comment, sample of no interest. Comes to one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Is this a centra? Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Oh, wait, I remember this part. Hey, 
Lieutenant Blake. I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, can you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. I gotta talk to him first before well, I look at the body. Are you coming, Jaden? I wanna look at the body. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Oh God, the origami. Yeah, I'm coming. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Any witnesses? Do we have to walk around? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine-tooth comb. The killer left anything behind. We'll find it. You got these awesome glasses. I know investigators never like to see FBI profilers turning up, but I'm here to help. If I can. The only thing I'm interested in is finding the killer. I don't have an ego problem, if that's any reassurance. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. I got your twin brother right over here. The case seems to be attracting the attention of the media. Yeah, a greedy pack of vultures. These guys have killed their mothers for a scoop. Some investigation. We're coming to three ring circus. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later? Back at the office. Please, well, no thank problem. you. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Can I touch the body now? Hey, Jade. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? On the same team now. Go go gadget glasses. Fine tooth comb there, eh? Harry Cam, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. The pupper. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims.
remember there being something up on the top of the hill. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. What? Harry Connor traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Are there checkpoints for this? There's a good chance that they're the killers. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. We have seen all there is to see. Back to the office. Stay in. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too.
have a Mac new about this. A bat. A wolf's head. A crab. Death. Death. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I sometimes have these blackouts, times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later, but I'm someplace else, and I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. Oof. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You can hear a real lisp in your voice there, Doctor. You look like you don't have any teeth. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. But it's weird. How did my son die if I was the one that got primarily hit? Like my... Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Do you want to eat something? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Why am I seeing the psychiatrist? Why is my son in a How did therapy? things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we will really pull it together, okay? I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! There it is. Dad, 
Mickey slide. I'm gonna break the thing. doing that once when I was a kid. It was fun. Only real only time I've ever really been on a merry-go-round though. And I was with my grade five class. Go on, Dad, as fast as you can. Let's go as a yeet my kid out of existence. Slip in the mud. This is a pretty steep angle. <laughs> Out of my way, kid! <laughs> it's nice seeing him laugh. Whoa! I think my head is spinning. Good, Good training for astronauts, though. <laughs> Let's go on an actual merry-go-round. Oh, he's hugging me! It's only been five minutes. What about this merry-go-round? Buy a ticket? No? You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. I got it though. You're not pushing dead. I was. This wasn't hard enough. And get us, delete us. Come on, Dad. Higher. Yet. There's one more thing we've done, haven't done yet. Can we not go on the merry-go-round? Can I get a ticket, please? <laughs> Out of my way, little Emily. Oh shit, where'd he go? Shad! Is that him over there?
the fuck? Okay, actually, where did he go? Oh, there we go. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before, I mean, when Jason was still here, Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too. Me too, Sean. Me too. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? It's a merry-go-round. Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. One, please. That's a dollar. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sip my drink and my controller is vibrating on my lap and he just yeets himself off my, off my chair. Wallaby way. Stop! Stop! Where am I going? Stop! Stop! The note on his desk. This is another blackout, isn't it? Or is it I wake up and Sean was gone? And have I, have I just been wandering the streets?
Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. I'm gonna use the X-ray version of these glasses to see your tetties. Holy shit. Oh, fuck yeah. People are gonna think I'm crazy. Ye oh, that's just good. <laughs> I'm richer than you. I can play a visual ball. Can I lose the ball? Oh, he's embarrassed. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. We just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to <laughs> tie a knot in a necktie? Oh, uh, yeah, guess. I love this guy. He's pushing me out of frame. <laughs> to be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. These flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. What the fuck? No. Of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Well, I hope you're better at profiling than at tying knots. Ah, oh, forget it, I'll manage. Perfect! Oh, go Sorry, see my Charlie and she'll show finger. you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. You look so tired. I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. I should get Perry's assistant to show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. Might be interesting to have a look. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? Strange character, Captain Perry. Seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. I really wish I could look around. Blake? I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case? I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. Nice watch. 
Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. How do I get the janitor's closet? Oh, I spoke too soon. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Okay. Mm okay, time to work. What? Dude. Sit the fuck down. Put on your little goggles. And do the thing. Step one. Change the office. Killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Just one origami store in town. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Hmm. A common species. That doesn't help much. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later.
drowned in rainwater. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geoprofiling any easier. All by railroads. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Killer is white, age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Freaking out, I'm tripping balls! Here we go again. I better go wash my face. What's wrong with me? I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Take what? That's all right. I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. What is it? This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail uh, can be important. It must have been about... Four fifteen. Yeah, that's it. Four fifteen. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? Uh, he a was beige a coat. jacket. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Uh, I think we're green. Green pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I went for a short walk around the park, just for a few minutes. When I got back, 
the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right, that's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. And if he doesn't? But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Oh, jeez, no pressure or anything. Okay, I should probably get going. Did they find this. something? No, nothing yet. But they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they? Do they think it's the origami killer? It, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. Strong like that. You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Shut up. I'm sorry. It's not what I meant to say. You're the only one who was affected by his death. You're emotionally, I'm physically. Yeah, I'm gonna take off. <laughs>